Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you're new. My name is Sarah, I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is going to be my what I got my kids for Easter or what's in their Easter basket. Um, if you've never seen me before, like I said, my name is Sarah. I make gift guides throughout the whole entire year. I make gift guides not just for littles, but I also make them for other people in your life like your spouses, your partners, your husbands, your wives, um, your family, friends, teachers, anybody you can think of. I probably have a gift guide or gift ideas for. I also make them for Easter, but I also do Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween boo buckets, um, birthdays, back to school hauls with little trinkets and goodies and surprises. Um, I have been doing this for many years now. So I have gift guides ranging back to when my littles were tiny little babies and toddlers to now where they are a little bit older kiddos. So I have a large age range with a lot of different ideas for you to choose from. So if you're looking for different ideas for different ages, definitely take a gander at my past Easter uh, videos and gift guides um, to inspire you. Now, like I said, I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she turned nine in November and my youngest is Eleanor and she just turned seven this month. So my kids are getting a little bit older. They're not as tiny little toddlers anymore, or very, very young children. They're starting to get more in the tween stage. So a lot of these ideas are going to reflect that. Um, but I think that they are still really good ideas for a lot of different age ranges and um, are really fun and I think that are easily adaptable to you and your family. Um, all of these items I will try and make sure I have linked below. If I never include a link for you guys, it's typically because it's sold out or I can't find a link um, because I shopped for it in store or because it's a one of a kind thing or I thrifted it or something like that. So I just wanna clarify for that. I'm never trying to like guard, gatekeep links or anything for you guys. I always try to share with you guys what I find. So if it's not a link that's there, um, it's probably because it's either sold out or I can't find a link for it. But like I said, I will try have everything linked for you below. Um, and all of these things, or the majority of these things are all um, things that you should be e easily able to get before Easter. A lot of these things I purchased on Amazon, picked up at Target or Walmart, hopefully based on your location, obviously. Um, these are items that will be easily accessible for you and just things you can pick up or at least a type of idea or like um, theme or genre of a gift that you can, you know, it gets your mind working, your wheels turning. Uh, so next time you're at the store, you can pick up some things uh, to either fill out the little sparse areas in the Easter basket or get your Easter baskets underway. So not only in this video will I be sharing my two daughters Easter baskets, but I will also be sharing with you guys what I'm putting in my husband's Easter basket as well as my mom's Easter basket. My um, brother and I fill my mom's Easter basket now that my dad has passed away. He would fill it every single year since I was a baby and it's a tradition that my brother and I have continued on with as well as a tradition that I've brought into my own marriage and my husband and I um, gift each other little Easter baskets and trinkets just like we do for Valentine's Day or boo buckets or for stocking fillers um, so hopefully this can get your mind working for some different ideas uh, for your spouse or partner in your life if you are looking to fill their baskets um, and I will also link the Pinterest board I have below I always try to do some some gift ideas for you because I know a lot of you guys um, are looking for some different things to kind of encourage your spouse or shop for yourself for little goodies to fill your baskets and so I have an Easter goodies board that I made this year it's the first board that I made for Easter this year but I will have it linked below that's on Pinterest these are just different ideas that I personally like um, and things that I would love in an Easter basket I give this to my husband and he is able to get inspired by it shop those links or find different things kind of around those um, ideas and normally that's what he does he'll buy a couple of things off there and then it'll kind of get his mind working and he'll go shop independently and find goodies um from outside of that as well so i will have that linked uh below for you guys if you're looking for some different ideas for yourself um to share with your partner i normally share with you guys my um the easter baskets that we have but ever since we moved that was the last holiday we celebrated before we moved and i have no idea where any of our easter stuff is that includes all of our easter eggs for our easter egg hunts our baskets and 
I don't know where any of it is. So I can't share that with you. Hopefully I can find them before Easter, but we are gonna start with Olive. Like I said, Olive is nine and she is really into everything that's like pinks and pastels and soft, gentle colors. She loves art. She loves, um, she's exploring with different makeups and um, different ways to like style her hair and clothes and just kind of embracing that like tween little time frame of her life. But so many of these ideas would work for older age ranges as well as younger age ranges. So these are just good ideas to kind of start with. All right, we are gonna start with the candy. I don't get my kids a ton of candy just because I would rather get them stuff that's a little bit more useful and stuff um, that they will have long-term, but I do get them a, a few little bits and bobs of candy here and there. Um, the first thing I got them was, or at least Olive, was this pack of Peeps. These are the blue raspberry. Um, she loves icy blue raspberry, and I thought this would be kind of a fun flavor to try. She also really loves Peeps, which I know Peeps are definitely hit or miss for some people. My kids love them. so. I got her a full pack of Peeps Blue Raspberries. I got this from Target. They had a ton of flavors at Target, but I know you can typically find all different flavors at different grocery stores and Walmart and stuff. Um, I also picked her up this Dip and Pop Hello Kitty popping candy with lollipop. It's just like a regular like strawberry flavored lollipop that you know you lick and you put it in and there's like pop rocks at the bottom of this. Um, if you have never seen my channel before, you won't know, but my kids are obsessed with everything Sanrio and Hello Kitty. And so I saw this and just thought this was super cute um, and just like a fun little treat to include in their bag, basket. Um, and then lastly, I got a bag of these Lint uh, Lindor truffles. Now my kids are obsessed with these things. This is probably their favorite candy. They both love them um, and they love all the different flavors. This is the one that we got last year and I thought was spectacular. This is the Neapolitan flavor. I think I ordered this at Target but I have seen it elsewhere as well. Um, these are probably going to go in Easter eggs for Easter egg hunts but I did get a pack for each kiddo. Um, to have, but they love those things. All right, every single year without fail, I always get my girls a new swimsuit um, because they swim nonstop in the summertime and they wear their old ones out and then of course they grow. So I did pick up one for Ollie. Um, I got this from Walmart. She is incredibly picky with her taste in clothing. Um, and so we will see if she likes this. It looked a lot more pastel online in person. It's a bit more bright than I think she may like, but she may totally love it. I think she's absolutely going to love the cut with the little puff sleeves. It goes down to this really pretty sage green color that's like kind of ribbed. It just looks kind of like a cute little like outfit. Like she could easily wear like a little bodysuit. She could wear like little denim shorts underneath this. Like it's just so cute. So I got this for her. It's in a size small six. Olive is incredibly tiny and this even looks kind of large. So we will see how it fits her. But this was only $9.98. Um, I love Wonder Nation. The prices are great and the quality of their clothes are great. This feels really nice. And so I think she's going to like it hopefully. Um, and then I also picked them up a swim cover up. We haven't had one of these in a hot minute and they are now starting to go to their friends' houses and swim or play in the water other places. And and so it's just a lot easier to deal with than having a towel, um, especially if they go in and out at, at like a pool party and stuff like that. So I just picked up a basic little uh, swim terry like cloth co uh, cover up. This was from Walmart again, Wonder Nation. This was only $9.98 and they come in a bunch of different colors, but I just got her the lavender shade. Um, and this is in a medium. It's gonna be huge on her, but it's at least something that she can use for a number of years. So I always get them swimsuits. We live in Texas, so it gets hot real quickly here. For some of you who are up north, it may still be very cold and you probably think I'm crazy, but it's already hot here. Not for swimming yet, but it will be soon enough. Um, and then I picked up this random little set. I just picked her up a t-shirt. Again, this is from Wonder Nation. I just thought this was so cute. Um, and it says drink cherry soda, but it's just this very Ollie, um, like the kind of like kawaii vibed uh, and colors and um, little soda can. So I picked this up. This is something she can just wear around the house to be comfy in. She can wear it to bed. She's definitely getting in more of a like a t-shirt shorts era when she likes to sleep. Less like cute, perfect little matching, you know, sets to sleep in. She likes to have a t-shirt and shorts. So I figured she would like this. And then I also picked up this pair of shorts from art class. This is in a size 
small 6'7", and they look like they're going to be big on her. Um, I should have picked up an extra small instead, but they're really, really cute. They have this really pretty, like, almost like acid wash to them, um, and they have a little pockets on the side. So I picked these up. We will see if she fits them and maybe something I have to return for a smaller size, but these were only $8, and I think that they were on sale uh, when I bought those. Um, I bought those at Target. I also picked up each kid a new beach towel. This came in a set of two from uh, Target, the Sun Squad line. I think this was like $10, maybe less. Um, and so Olive is gonna get the like darker pink and lighter pink striped one, and Eleanor will be getting this one. But um, she will be getting a towel to go with her swim stuff as well. I always get the kids like some sort of lotion or body wash every single Easter now it feels like um, and these are just useful things you know but they're fun because they bring out a lot of like spring summer scents this is a new scent I at least we haven't tried this scent from tree hut we really like the tree what tree hut body washes we get them from uh, Target and this was the strawberry scent it smells super super yummy um, definitely like you know artificial strawberry smell but like in the best way like you smell like a jolly rancher or something so um this is for ollie's basket but her and her sister will end up sharing it um and then i found this set of macaron um little sponges from hobby lobby these were $5.49 for a set of three of them and i just thought they were so gosh darn cute I hope that they're not gonna just like fall apart and just be completely terrible quality. Um, they were sold at Hobby Lobby in the art section, so I'm not, I don't have incredibly high hopes, but they were just so cute and I thought that they just fit a Easter basket so perfectly. Um, but this is a set to go in her basket as well. Very, Ollie tried macarons for the first time uh, this Valentine's Day and she's obsessed. She uh, loves them so much. The colors are her vibe. Like this is such a cute little thing I found. I also picked her up a set of uh, face wipes. These are from the cream shop. These are the clarifying um, uh, brightening rose water strawberry little face wipes that they're the Hello Kitty themed ones. Um, I have these and I love them. They are, they one, smell incredible. Two, they're really, really gentle. Um, and so, and they are supposed to cleanse, exfoliate, and hydrate. Um, and I really like that because sometimes if you use face wipes, they can be really stripping, they can be really harsh. Like I said, the girls really like to kind of play around with makeup and um, do like face paints and like glitter and all that sort of stuff. And so it can get messy and they need face wipes. So I bought her a pack of these and because they are Sanrio thing themed, I think she will like them even more. Um, and then on the makeup train, she has been wanting this palette from Makeup Revolution. I got this at um, Target and it is the Forever Flawless palette. It's just a pretty like butterfly palette and it looks like this. Lots of different like pastel pinks and blues and purples. Um, it's just really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Really, really pretty, just basic light colors, nothing too intense. Um, again, she's just playing around with makeup, and um, so she's been wanting this for a while, and it's definitely on brand for Ollie. Um, so that is one thing she will be getting. And then I found this set of five lip glosses, um, again, at Hobby Lobby in the gift section, and I just thought these were so pretty. They're Cinderella themed, um, and I had given her a couple of the ColourPop like Disney Princess, um, like their line of stuff, and she loves them because they're so pretty. Um, the packaging's beautiful. Obviously, it's a character she knows. Um, even if she's kind of grown out of the Disney Princess like phase, she still really likes the like aesthetic of everything. And I just thought these glosses were so pretty. They're sparkly and glittery, and there's all different shades. Um, and I hopefully scents. They said they're flavored, so hopefully they're nice. So I got her just a set of different lip glosses, which I thought were really nice. I picked her up this Reduce um, water bottle from Walmart. These are like 11 bucks, maybe 10, I don't know. They're not very expensive at all, um, but they're really, really nice quality. Uh, and I like to use like more cups like this for during the summertime that are just easily refillable um, and they have the spout uh, with the straw lid. Um, for whatever reason, I just feel like 
if they don't want to have water in this and they end up having like lemonade or you know like sparkling water or whatever the case may be then I, for whatever reason it's like that makes sense to be in this cup but like all of their school water bottles in my head I'm like because we have a ton of those and we love them but I'm like no they can't it can't go in there and I like to put their school water bottles away um, to keep them just you know in good condition uh, for the upcoming year um, to try to just continue to reuse them and so I did pick up a new little cup for her and this will be like a little summer mug um, and it's super cute my kids aren't like they don't know the whole Stanley craze that's not like a trend for them they don't know like that whole thing um so this that's not going to be like this is a stanley or it's a faux stanley or whatever they're just going to think this is a cute cup um so i got this one for her like i said this is from walmart and it has all these like really cute little smiley faced uh flowers on it um and i just thought it was adorable so she has like a big girl cup you know but it's still like kid size <laughs> i always get my kids books or some sort of educational item never fails always always uh for every holiday and gift giving occasion and so i got my uh, olive two books i thought i got her a whole other set of judy moody book books because she's been really really into reading the judy moody chapter books um and i can't find them so i don't know if i just didn't order them or what happened i gotta go back and recheck things but i if i didn't i'm going to pick up a couple of the judy moody chapter books because she's really really enjoying those but on a whole ollie typically gravitates towards more like graphic novels she really 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 loves graphic novels specifically this series which is the camp series um by kayla miller this is the newest book um in that series and she is obsessed she got the last one i think for valentine's day and she just loves this she will reread the series over and over and over again and the main character in this book is a girl named olive and she looks very similar to my olive and so i think that's another reason why she really likes the series because she can like identify with the main character um and so i got this at target they were having like a buy one get one free sale on a lot of the target like club books uh which was such a deal so i got i picked her up this one and then i also picked her up this this is a new one that she's never I don't think she's ever heard of I've never heard of it but if you've never seen my videos before you won't know but my oldest Olive is obsessed with cats I'm talking like full like she is committed to being a cat lady and like that's her vibe that's she wants like 50 cats like that's her thing so um i always like to buy her like cat things cat themed things because she loves it so much i found this book um this is again a series it's a graphic novel this is house cat trouble by mason dickerson and it's just this really cute little like like little adventure looking series about a house cat that gets in trouble i guess i don't know a little bunch of antics go down but i just thought the illustrations were really cute um it doesn't seem to be like a ton of actual reading <laughs> a lot more on the um like illustration side but there are a couple pages with a good amount of speech bubbles um but again that's why we're gonna fill it in with some chapter books from the judy moody line but those are the two books that i got for her olive is obsessed with art she's an incredible artist and so i always try to include some art related items in her um, gifts and I found this little punch needle kit from Hobby Lobby and one of we always like make a, um, a summer bucket list of just different things we want to do and this year a big one on our list is being creative and creating a lot of different art and um, working on projects and things like that rather than being on screens and iPads and stuff and so I picked this up because I just thought this would be a cool new um, like thing for her to try this is for her age it's six plus um she's never done punch needling before i've never done punch needling before um it does have instructions we will see how this goes but i thought that it seemed similar enough i could be totally not on the ball with that but i thought it would be just a fun like summer project that she can um do and uh we can do together and learn a new thing so um this was 4.99 but i think it was like 40 percent off um at Hobby Lobby because it's in their spring section so um, just a cute little thing I love going there to find like different little arts and crafts that are on sale because you can fill a basket for next to nothing because it's always on sale lastly uh, art wise I picked this up I had no idea this was a thing and based on some of the comments people like other Millennials fellow Millennials have had this since they were kids and I don't know why I didn't know that this existed but I think this is the coolest thing ever and it is a sticker book so if you haven't seen any of my recent gift guides, and I'm talking for the past at least year, at least year, um, my kids are 
absolutely obsessed with stickers and I'm talking about the like wash uh, washable like waterproof stickers that you can buy you can get like giant sets off of Amazon um, and they're obsessed like it's one of their favorite things they have full collections Ollie lost her sticker bag the other day luckily she found it but you would have thought she lost like her best friend she was beside herself and it was just a big old pack of stickers and so um, I think one those are just a great idea for Easter baskets they fit perfectly in Easter eggs for Easter egg hunts. You can buy like a big old pack off Amazon and just fill eggs. Highly recommend the sticker route. But um, they have a bunch of stickers and we've been buying lots of stickers lately and recently they got a bunch of Taylor Swift stickers because Eleanor just had her birthday party. And so I didn't buy more stickers but I did find a sticker book. And basically inside of it are just a bunch of like basically the paper that you that's on the back of a sticker so like the thing that holds it and keeps its like adhesiveness and it makes it kind of like reusable that's what these are so essentially you just can stick all of your collection of stickers on here and take it off when you want to reuse it but you can see your whole collection this way and since they have gained such a large amount of stickers they don't get to kind of like see their whole collection um and get to like appreciate them but also be able to like oh i want this one without having to like dump everything out and search through and so i just thought this was such a cool idea and if you have little ones or anybody in your life who also really loves stickers like i am an adult and i love stickers and i will buy tons of stickers off of etsy um and so i would love something like this i think it's so freaking cool anyway um so i picked this up <laughs> for them because or for her because i just thought it was so cute and this one's just a sweet little like bunny i guess um, but it's like kind of like a kawaii style like cover, which is very ollie um, with this really pretty like lavendery pink flower pattern in the back. So um, I picked that up for her and I'm super excited for them to get this because I think it's so cool. And again, apparently these have been around forever. I just have never heard of them before. Something that I get my kids every single year and is like the thing that I recommend for any lady in your life or anybody who likes hair clips are hair clips. Um, such an inexpensive thing to put in Easter baskets and with hair clips like fully back in style. Like you can find any and all hair clips like Y2K vibes, claw clips, little mini barrettes, um, I mean everything. And they can be for little kids all the way up to adults and they're perfect size to fill in Easter eggs for Easter egg hunts. I'm telling ya, if you, it's great for teachers. like hair clips hair clips all day <laughs> um i picked up this set this is from hobby lobby it was only 1.99 it's a tortoise shell hair clip set and these are just so pretty it has like these pinks and light blues and like peach tones in it this, this i feel like would be perfect for like a teacher or um, a mom who wears hair clips or adult like a a daughter-in-law or you know whatever i just i think they're so pretty i got these for ollie but then i also found this pack of hair clips from walmart this thing this whole entire pack of hair clips from walmart was two dollars or like 2.97 or something which is just insane to me um i love the wonder nation hair clips but it has a cute little watermelon this pretty like neon -y yellow um, glittery claw clip, this adorable little like orange, and then this one which I think she's gonna like the best, and it's um, a strawberry with like little like a strawberry blossom. Um, and so again, she loves a good hair clip. I always get hair clips. We use them nonstop. I use them like it's just a it's a thing in our house. Highly recommend the hair clip thing. And also scrunchies are also a really good idea. Hair ties, any of that stuff are just easy, like affordable, accessible items that you can fill in Easter baskets. The next couple of things are more of like our fun things. So I found this little keychain at Hobby Lobby. Again, it's a cat paw and I know she would love it. So this is something that I may stick in a Easter egg for an Easter egg hunt, but um, it's something that she'll appreciate and get use out of, but it was cute and inexpensive. So I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I also then picked up these two things. Um, she saw these little cats from the Calico Critter lines. These are the Persian cat triplets. And had like was obsessed we were at like cracker barrel and like the gift shop after we ate breakfast and she was obsessed she wouldn't stop squealing that the cutest things ever and so i was like this is a perfect thing to put in an easter basket all the calico critters lines and um the like woodland acres i think is the one that they have now at target or at um walmart 
are just they're just super cute they just are they scream spring to me i think like just a little addition would be adorable in an easter basket um my kids used to collect these things they no longer do i don't know I, she just likes cats like if she finds a cat figurine she's there like that's her thing she loves it so i figured that regardless if she like wants more calico critter stuff or doesn't she will still get use out of them because they're cute little baby cats so and they're fuzzy and adorable so i did get her a pack of these um and uh these were inexpensive i think off of amazon or something like that and then lastly i was so excited that this came out um i real little's backpacks which my girls are obsessed with they love them and then they like to use them for their beanie boos came out with sanrio themed ones and we've collected i think all of them from the first launch well they came out with a second line of Sanrio themed uh, real little backpacks. And I didn't know, I randomly stumbled upon these. My kids don't know that they exist yet. They're going to freak. Um, this is my Melody, which is Olive's favorite. So cute. It comes with a pen, paper clip, stickers, pencil case, sticky notes, and a notebook. They're all miniature. I'm sure you've seen these before. They're so gosh darn cute. And I feel like perfect for a little Easter um, basket, like little toy or little item for like a tween in your life um, or a little kid in your life. I think, or an adult, whoever. I think they're cute. They're adorable. So um, I got her the My Melody version. And then I guess that's it for Olive. Wow. I feel like I flew through that. Did I? To you, did I? Through that? I don't know. I feel like I'm getting better. <laughs> Let's go to Eleanor. <laughs> on to Eleanor. So I'm going to share with you her candy options really quick. I got her peeps, but I got her the Dr. Pepper flavor. She's obsessed with like soda pop novelty things. Like, I don't know. It's just her thing. It's her niche thing. She loves like the soda pop, like chapsticks and nail polishes and flavored things. I don't know. It's her thing. So I found these and I knew that she would love them. I have no idea if they taste good. It's either hit or miss with Dr. Pepper flavored things. Like, Dr. Pepper's one of my favorites, but I don't like flavored things of Dr. Pepper. I feel like it's not good, but maybe she will. I don't know. Got her a dip and pop, and then I also got her a bag of the Neapolitan truffles as well. Like I said, she is having this towel, which is like a rainbowed striped uh, smiley face towel. It's really cute. Oh, you see that? There he is. Little smiley face. She loves everything smiley face, so that was perfect for her. Um, and this is her swimsuit. I got this also at Walmart. This is from the Justice line. They did a whole Care Bears line. It's so cute. Um, this is an extra small 5'6", and this looks huge. Like, I think this will be huge on her, which we had the same issue last year for both of them. My kids are just, like, very tiny, and I really struggle with swimsuits. So, um, we will see how this fits, but it is so cute. It's just this one-shouldered little, it has another strap over here, but it looks like a one-shouldered, uh, little swimsuit, and it has, like, all the little Care Bears, like, chilling at this, like, little beach resort thing. I just think, and then, like, I love the little ring. It's all glittery. Can you see that? I don't know. It's so adorable. This was a bit more expensive. This was $18, but I want to say, say I got this on sale for, like, $14 or something, um, but I did get this off of, uh, Walmart and I just, she's going to love it. Hopefully it fits her. Um, and then her little cover up, oh gosh, her little cover up is hot pink. Um, again, it's just a little basic one. We'll zip up a little terry cloth cover up. And this was a size six for $9.98. I did also get her a little t-shirt as well. I thought I got her shorts. Apparently I didn't probably because they didn't have extra smalls or something. I don't know. So I need to get her some biker shorts to go under this, but I did get her a little Rolling Stones t-shirt. She already has a Stones shirt um, that she loves and wears all the time. She is obsessed with like, like band tees. She loves them. I have a lot of band tees. My husband has a lot of band tees because we love music. And so she loves to like feel included. And um, we listen to music all the time together. And so she ends up liking a lot of like our bands and musicians and stuff and so um anyway she's gonna love this it's super cute they do have a bunch of different uh band tees at walmart and it was only 4.98 so again this is something she can wear just to hang out lounge around in she can wear it to school if she wants um but it could just be a t-shirt to sleep in what have you just a cute little shirt just like her sister i did get like a body 
clean cleanliness thing item whatever shower stuff um this is actually a body butter this is also by tree hut this is in the watermelon scent we uh used this one last year and have also purchased the body wash this isn't so good it smells so good i actually think we've used this for like two years in a row now and so i have like good memories tied with this because of just knowing it's like summertime hanging out with my girls and stuff and so I don't know I'm very scent oriented and I I very very like connect hardcore with memory and so I really enjoy like finding specific scents for certain times of year and so this one I highly recommend it smells so so good um, and I know that they'll be excited too because that we've been out of ours for a while just like her sister I also picked up a pack of the cream shop Hello Kitty face wipes um, so they didn't have to fight and they could each have their own pack uh, I got these at Walmart, by the way. I think for like $4.88 or $5 something, something like that. I didn't buy her any like makeup um, because she just got some for her birthday. But I did find this humongous flavored lip balm that's Nerds. Again, she loves novelty things like this. This was from Hobby Lobby. This was only $3.79 in the gift section. They had a ton of like novelty makeup related items. Um, and things it was so much fun. I felt like a little kid in a candy store again Like it was just it was like Claire's but better in my opinion because it was so much less expensive I don't know. I just had so much fun picking this stuff out for them um, And this is a humongous freaking lip balm <laughs> And I think it's more like she's just gonna think this is hilarious Like she just has this giant nerds lip balm like she this is totally up her alley Like she's just gonna think this is so funny so, um, and they did have a bunch of other like scents and flavors and stuff, but the nerds one I think was the uh, cutest in my opinion. Books, we're moving on to books. So if you saw in my Valentine's Day uh, haul or what I got my kids for Valentine's Day, I shared with you guys that we were trying out the pizza and taco series. And I'm happy to report that she loved them. She thought they were so cute and so funny. So we did pick up another one. This, I didn't get them in consecutive order because I couldn't find the third and fourth in store, but I did find the fifth. So so this is pizza and taco rock out um, I don't think that they you know you have to go in order by any means but I do want to still collect the whole collection she really really loves it it's so cute it's a fun little kind of like graphic novel style uh, book it's really easy to read um, and the illustrations are just so adorable and so funny um, and so she is going to love this book I'm sure she reads rereads them over and over again uh, she is definitely not my reader she's an excellent reader which is what's so crazy about it she can read and spell like so so freaking well um, but she doesn't like to read. I think she finds it really, really boring. And so I've been trying really hard to encourage her to read and find a lot of different books and, um, you know, series and things that she will enjoy. And so I'm glad I found Pizza and Taco. She's a big fan. I recommend. Um, these next two books are new. Uh, they're also part of a series. And so I'm hoping that since she liked that one, she will like these two. I picked up Astrid and Stella. This is The Cosmic Adventures of Astrid and Stella. Um, this was part of the book club Target thing. All of these books were. They were buy one, get one free. And ages six to nine. Um, and so perfect for her age group. Again, it's a really cute, like, kind of graphic novel, comic book style um, book. And again, I'm just trying to encourage her to read a bit more, have a bit more words on the page, because she loves graphic novels, she loves picture books, um, but she definitely will gravitate towards like less words. Um, and so I've been trying to like find different series and things that are still really fun, still like what she likes to read, but has a bit more content to it. So um, I believe one of you actually suggested this series to me, so thank you uh, for doing that, because I did go ahead and pick it, the first book up, and it looks absolutely adorable. So, and it's a pretty big one um so i'm excited i think that she will enjoy this so i picked up that one that's the first book in the series and then i again it was buy one get one free and so i had saved this one a while back and just never purchased it but it was in that sale so i decided to uh, pick it up it this is from scholastic it's mimi and cutie mimi and the cutie catastrophe um like i said this is a series this is book one and it just was so cute like i just thought the illustrations were so adorable um she i'm guessing this is mimi mimi is a cutie yeah this is mimi she is 
so gosh darn cute. Um, I love that she's missing a little tooth. I just thought this was adorable. Um, again, that graphic novel, comic book style uh, book with again, a good chunk of speech bubbles for her to read. I just, the illustrations are adorable. I just, I loved it. So I think this is something that she would really like. Um, and fingers crossed, we are successful, but this looks absolutely adorable. So I picked this one up for her as well. Just to clarify again, um, my min pen is out and just like he was in my last video, it, I apparently just always like to record on Recycle and Trash Day. Um, and he's out running amok. So if you hear him, I apologize. All right, uh, she also enjoys art, um, just like her sister, and also absolutely adores stickers. So I did, in fact, get her a sticker book as well. Um, I didn't realize that the sticker book had a ton of cats on it. I just look, it looked very much like Eleanor, very bright, colorful, like kind of emoji style um, vibe but there's cats everywhere so i still i'm in a conundrum i think the other one that i got is way more fit for ollie but this has cats so i don't know anyway again same thing it's a sticker book so i did put a sticker in this one to show you what i mean um and this is just one that came in a pack it was just a random one anyway um but if you see like this is like a regular sticker and i can just pop it down and like peel it up flip it and be like oh no i want it here I just, I don't know guys, for whatever reason, this has blown my mind. And again, this seems like a very simple thing, very obvious thing. I don't even know how I found this idea, but coolest thing in the world to me. So I got her a sticker book as well. I got these on Amazon. So they came next day. I don't know, man, I think it's so cool. I did find her a pack of stickers. This was in the Walmart like Easter section um, and the little like different fillers. This was like $3 or something, I think. And it comes, it's a stickers art kit and it comes with a bunch of different stickers. They're all very much Eleanor, just like fun, kind of whimsical, bright neon, um, like modern style stickers and um, there's like gummy bears and like a disco ball and a cowboy hat and cowgirl boots and this is just it's so cute so I got this for her they didn't have another style otherwise I would have got them the one for Ollie as well but these are not her vibe stickers um, but the reason that I like this is for instance because of like Ollie's situation is they like to bring stickers with them they like to bring them to school and give their friends stickers they like to trade stickers it's a whole thing it's a whole hobby for them and so I after Ollie lost her bag of stickers um, we were nervous about that happening again and so I feel like this is a really good thing to kind of bring around it's like hey I'm going to my friend's house I know I want to bring some stickers let me just bring a small amount and then my little tin and they're not gonna get bent or hurt um, but I'm not bringing my giant set with me so and it's gonna go even better with now having the sticker book because you know, unless she's bringing, packing this everywhere she goes, um, this will be nice to like bring, you know, some with her as well. So anyway, that's my whole theory. It probably won't pan out like that, but I did get her that. I also picked this up. Um, this is the last like arts and craft item. Um, I picked up this really cute little sharpener from Hobby Lobby. It's $1.99. Um, and it's just a little bear, but he's a hamburger or cheeseburger. Again, Eleanor loves this stuff. She loves cheeseburgers and hamburgers and food related like things. Um, and so I just thought this was so cute. It's $1.99. He's just so cute. So um, I got her one of those. If you can, my dog is just crazy, freaking crazy. Okay. Um, I did get Eleanor a cup as well. I got her, I shared this with you guys already in my birthday haul or her birthday haul, but I didn't end up giving it to her because I really wanted to find one for Ollie and I ended up just getting her the pink one. So it worked out. So I'm going to give this to her for her Easter instead of her birthday. But this is like disc girl, disco cowgirl style and says yeehaw and there's a cowboy hat and boots with uh, disco balls and flowers. It's just so cute. Uh, Eleanor saw this a while ago and has been wanting it ever since. So um, I just think it's adorable. Again, nice, really nice cup, um, nice size, perfect for their ages as well as price. It was nice and cheap. Eleanor is absolutely my like accessory queen. She loves jewelry. She got a big, beautiful jewelry box for her birthday. And like, that was her favorite gift that she got. She loved it. I'm so glad she ended up loving it as much as we hoped it did, she did. And so we bought a number of jewelry items for that, but I have since 
accumulated more <laughs> because she loves to accessorize. So I got her a little care care bear, a little gummy bear uh, bracelet, just so cute. Um, and I got her a tons of earrings, way too many earrings. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I overdid the earrings, but it's okay. Um, these really cute, like little daisy, like hot pink daisy acrylic earrings. They're little flowers and they smile and they're so cute. Oh, they're so fun. Um, and she has this beautiful, like deep russet skin tone. And I just, any sort of neon color just pops so well against her skin. And so these are going to look so cute in summertime with like a little dress and oh, I love it. Anyway, I also picked her up two giant or no three again, cause I have a problem packs, like multi packs of earrings. Um, these ones are absolutely ridiculous. I will probably fill some of these in like little Easter eggs for the Easter egg hunt. I will pick up some more for Olive as well that are more her style because none of these are her style. Uh, these are absolutely ridiculous. I don't even, I got them because they had like little, they had like little french fries. Um, I don't know if you can see these. They had like little french fries. Um, but then they have like hot dogs and cheeseburgers. They have ramen um, They have like little cakes. They're absolutely ridiculous, but she's gonna love them She's gonna think they're so funny again. She loves the food novelty things um, And then I picked her up this set which comes with a bunch of different earrings. They have dice uh, little mushrooms ducks butterflies little hearts um, really really cute I got her that set and then I these are my favorite and the ones I'm so excited for her to get um, she if you've watched any of my past like gift guides for her she's obsessed with Mo Willems she loves piggy and elephant books those were her favorite and that's what we kind of had to get away from because that's all she wanted to read was Mo Willems and again nothing wrong with Mo Willems he's amazing um, and his books are amazing but she just needed a bit more content however I found these piggy and elephant little earrings and she's just going to freak out they're so cute i loved them these would be so perfect for like a librarian or a teacher um i just thought these were absolutely adorable so i picked those up i can't wait for her to open those because she's going to just be so excited um I also picked her up hair clips because she is my hair clip lady as well i picked her up these giant pom pom <laughs> clips from Hobby Lobby. These were like $1.49 and they're like little snap clips um, and they came with a set of three. So I picked up these for her and then I picked up again Wonder Nation. Uh, these were like two something and they came with six different hair clips and they're so cute. They're so very Eleanor and they actually fit perfectly with her like little earrings right here. Anyway just fun and cute. So I picked her up those and I forgot I bought more earrings. Um, these are like these kind of funky like organic style shapes. And they're these acrylic um, neon colors. And again, something she'll totally love and will look so good against her little skin tone. Nothing wants to focus. My camera just never wants to focus. There we go. Is it focused? I think so. Anyway, super cute. A giant pack. I may just put these again. Like these are perfect for Easter eggs. So um, jewelry is another great option. Just like cute, like little costume with jewelry is perfect for Easter egg hunts uh, for a multitude of age ranges as well. Um, and then lastly for Eleanor, I picked her up a little Real Littles backpack as well, but this is Karopi. Um, and he also comes with a pen, a paper clip, notebook, sticky notes, pencil case. So gosh darn adorable. He's my fave. He's so cute. There's also, um, two Hello Kitty ones. One's an ultra rare. And then there's one that is like holographic with all of the friends, but I just thought this one and the My Melody one were the cutest. Um, and so again, I found these at Walmart. I couldn't find them like online or anything. I found them at Walmart. Um, and he was the last one I could find. I did find My Melody. There was a couple of her left, but he was hard. Um, but I'm so excited to give those to her. All right, those, uh, that is all what I'm giving my kiddos. Again, I'm going to pick up a couple of those chapter books for Ollie of the uh, Judy Moody ones. And I will also be picking up a couple more um, like Easter egg hunt fillers that are probably like some jewelry for Ollie and maybe some scrunchies or stuff like that. Just things that are easy um, that I can fill with Easter egg hunts um, because I need a couple bit more of those things. But other than that, 
they are now done so i'm going to share with you what i got for my husband and what i got for my mom all right we are going to jump in really quickly to my husband's gift ideas um i got him a couple really i got him one treat uh i will probably add a couple more but again we're not big treat people in like holiday stuff i don't know why uh, i got him some of the tootsie roll like fruit shoes i feel like he is the only one i know besides my dad and myself who likes these things um we're just meant to be i guess but these are only two dollars at walmart so that is his candy treat and then um his other treat is this giant thing of Folgers instant coffee this is the classic roast um if you think back to like 2020 or during covid and the pandemic when people were doing the like coffee i can't even think of what it's called but they basically use like an aerator um and made like foam that was coffee and then you put it over milk um that's where we tried this out for the first time and we've never gone back we don't make that coffee anymore but he just loves this coffee. He would, he'll be buried with this, I'm sure. He loves it that much. So I buy the big jumbo version from Sam's because if I buy it in store, I get like a third of this for $8 and this jumbo boy is like nine. So definitely recommend checking out your local uh, Sam's. I don't know if it's in Costco, but if you like that coffee, <laughs> um, there you go. And also, uh, we have a two-story house. The bottom floor is completely like engineered hardwood. And so it gets really cold and your feet just gets like crumbly and just, it's gross, okay? I've become a house shoe aficionado. It's my thing. And ever since, Jazz has wanted a pair for himself. So I picked up a pair of little, these are supposed to be temperature controlled. They are supposed to be for all seasons. Um, a little pair of house shoes. So they're memory foam on the bottom. They're this nice like gray, um, almost like corduroy style uh fabric and there are rubber soles on the bottom so if he wants to wear these for like a quick errand in the car or something he drops the girls off to school every morning he can just shove his little tootsies in this and um be on his way so hopefully he likes these hopefully they work hopefully they're not too hot they're supposed to be good for all climates um and not specifically just like winter slippers or anything they're supposed to be good for spring summer and all that stuff so we will see but uh um yeah good pair of house shoes i feel like that should have happened in the winter and i totally drop the ball but what can you do all right moving on to more gaming themed items he has recently become obsessed with the game Helldivers. He will talk to anybody and everybody about it. Um, I've never seen him excited, excited over a game before in his life. It's Helldivers 2. He loves it so much. It is a satirical base game. It's hilarious if you listen to it. It's really funny. It's really campy. Um, it's fun like I, I can get I get the vibe of why he likes it so much but he loves it and so I decided to get him a couple of things uh, that were Helldivers themed I found this t-shirt off of Etsy um, but now I'm thinking about it I, I don't know why they're wings because he definitely the soldiers definitely don't have wings so we'll see he may not like this we'll see i don't know anyway but i did find this and it's supposed to be like a retro gaming style t-shirt i got him one similar to this uh a couple years ago that was doom and he loves it wears it all the time and he gets compliments every single where he every single place he goes so i thought i would get him one that was Helldiver themed but i just don't know i can't tell if it's right or not but i will say that the actual screen printing is really nice so i don't know we'll see I got him that and then I also got him a Helldivers themed mug. This is how about a cup of how about a nice cup of liberty. Um, again, it's like satire. It's funny. The ridiculous saying and phrases that they say in it. It's so funny. Um, but it's a nice size for him and it's dishwasher safe and microwavable safe. Um, and ironically, literally yesterday, he found the exact same mug and was like, oh my gosh, I need this. Like was super in love with it. And little did he know I have had it like stored for like three weeks and i'm like you better not buy it i didn't say that but in my head i'm like you better not because he manages to ruin each and every surprise i ever come up with him i don't know how so anyway i hope that he does not order that for himself because i will be sad okay we're gonna move on to like music things so one of his favorite bands is a death metal band called slaughter to prevail um he loves them and he's been listening to them for the past couple years now um and so i found these little magnets which i intended to give to him to put on his either we have a mini fridge he can put them on but 
uh, he made his own PC. Uh, he built his own PC and there's like a big metal frame on the outside of it and I could have sworn that it was metal, completely metal, but it's all covered in like thick glass. So they don't, they won't hold, but he can find another place. Uh, I got these three magnets that are the like logo or like the mascot or the main mask of the slaughter to prevail, which I know this is very appropriate for Easter. Um, totally, totally on brand there. But anyway, uh, he has this mask. He got it for Christmas. We got it for him for Christmas and he loves it. So I got, it's an actual wearable one, but I got the red one uh, to match that. And then I got them pretty like bronzy gold color and this like silvery white color. Uh, the maker on Etsy has a ton of all the different mask colors, but I just thought these were so cute. As cute as they can be, I suppose. Um, but he will use them to decorate, I'm sure, in there or wherever he wants. But I just thought they were fun. Perfect size for an Easter basket. And then maybe something that's a little less sad or scary, I suppose, uh, for Easter is um, we are going to see NF, if you don't know who that is. He's an incredible uh, artist. He's a rapper and singer. Um, and Jazz has been obsessed with him for years now. Like, started with him in the very beginning. And um, we are going to be able to go see him in the summertime we just got tickets and we were so excited about it so um i wanted to get him a shirt so he could wear to the concert he has a ton of other nf shirts and merch i've shared with you guys about nf before on here and the stuff i've gotten him but uh, nf dropped a new album last year called hope and so i wanted to get him something like themed uh for that so he could wear to a concert and i got a hope uh t-shirt from his merch site uh, it's made on this really nice, like, um, vintage style, like, t-shirt fabric that's supposed to look like a vintage shirt that's kind of faded and washed. I love shirts like that. Um, and then the back has lyrics and a picture of him, um, from the song Hope. And th this is the coolest thing ever. I noticed this when I pulled it out, but this is the shirt, the t-shirt, actual, like, t-shirt, is made from Los Angeles Apparel, 6.5 ounce. Anyway, it's a, um, a custom we dyed garment and it tells you who did it and it's so cool and it's this uh it has a little picture and his name is diego and he's been doing this for like 10 years and he loves his mom and the la dollars and i just think that that's the cutest thing ever i love that they did that i've never seen that before i don't know that was like a selling point for me i was like this obviously seems like a small business that they bought this uh these t-shirts from and i just think that's really cool so um anyway like I said, I got this for him and I'm really excited. I just love, I think the back looks really cool. If you've never seen or, or listened to NF, I highly recommend it. Um, he's an incredible, incredible musician and artist and uh, like songwriter, incredible. Uh, I definitely recommend like looking at his lyrics um, because to get the full effect when you are listening because beautiful, just like heartbreaking, gut-wrenching. He struggles with like really bad mental illness um and has since like the whole album hope is about kind of like overcoming a lot of that um and getting therapy and treatment and uh reaching breakthroughs and stuff anyway um but it's just just incredible like i will sob anyway highly recommend listening to him anyway um okay the last thing that i picked up for jazz this is kind of a random one <laughs> but uh like i said we live in a two-story house we live in texas this house is 30 years, 28 years old. Um, and so it's a little bit older. The insulation isn't fantastic. We are going to re-insulate, I think, the upstairs, especially the attic, uh, probably this year. But it gets really, really, really hot. And Jazz has kind of taken over the, our big, massive, like, closet over here. And he's making it his gaming room. And we're going to eventually break down the wall and make it this big old place. Um, and we have an extra bedroom we're making into our closet. It's a whole it's a whole thing for us. It's our, our next task, our, big, our next big project. Anyway, all I to say is it gets really, really hot where he games. And and because he has a like uh you know a hand-built pc um and he has a bunch of fans and cooling systems and stuff in it it still can overheat and break and die and it'd be thousands of dollars down the tubes so we don't want that um so we have we spend a ton of money on fans and try to cool down the area but when it's just unreasonably hot in the summertime you just want to die so i found this portable mini air conditioner now this had incredible reviews and i feel like they're just too good to be true it just feels too good to be true. 
um, but you put ice or water in this and it is actually cooling. So it's not just a fan, it actually cools you down like an AC unit does. There's three different speeds. You can have it on a timer and it's touchscreen. They have a ton of different ones of these all on Amazon. This one was like the highly rated one, I think, or like the Amazon rated or whatever customer favorite, whatever it was. Um, again, really, really, really well rated and reviewed. I just feel like it's just too good to be true. So we will see. Um, I guess that's it. I don't have anything else to say about that because I don't know how well it works. But if it does work, this could be a game changer. It could be a complete game changer for our summers here. We will find out. So that is uh, his last gift. And then moving on to my mom, um, for Christmas we got her an espresso maker and I plan on getting her a pack of the Nespresso pods. Um, and I also am getting her a milk frother. I thought I ordered it and I didn't, so that's something I need to still get. But um, she's been really wanting like more like latte style coffees in the morning with some, because she has the fancy Nespresso. Um, and so I'm gonna get her a milk um, warmer and frother. And then, or steamer, I guess I should say. And then um, I also picked up this little guy. He's a little birdhouse. Um, my dad passed away in 2019, and ever since then, my mom has been collecting um, cardinals. And so I saw him in the spring section of um, Hobby Lobby, and he was just too cute to pass up. And I'm not a bird person, okay? Like, birds and me, we just don't gel. But he's just so gosh darn cute. He's just a little chubby card, no? Um, he was only $16.99, and I just, I couldn't resist him. So I picked him up for her, and I think she's really going to like him as well. So he's going to go in um, her basket or by her basket. I also picked her up some saltwater taffy, the bag ripped, so I can't show you uh bag but it's it's fine because this is going to go on the bottom of her basket anyway but i grew up eating salt water taffy um i love it my mom loves it my dad used to love it and so i got her a good chunk of that and then um i also picked her up this uh lint chocolate tulips um she loves the like lint like easter themed chocolate which i do too like they're just so gosh darn cute and so fun so i picked her up a pack of these that i'm going to open and put in her basket as well all right, friends, I think we did it. We made it. So I am done. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that I gave you um, a ton of different ideas and got your the wheels returning. <laughs> anyway, that is it for my Easter gift guide. Um, I will assemble some of these items in Easter eggs for Easter egg hunt for my kids, and I will be putting them in their baskets. I get questions if we take things out, if we put everything in. I fit as much in as I possibly can, and then I will put like the larger items on the outside. I typically don't open anything unless I'm putting them in Easter eggs, but I typically just will put them in their packaging as is. The girls like to open them, and it's just, I think, kind of more fun and exciting for them, so I don't normally open uh, the items, but I did get that question. Um, and again, Again, I would show you our Easter baskets. We've been using them since Eleanor was born, um, but I have no idea where they are. So hopefully I find them for Easter. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this gift guide. Uh, coming up, we have some fashion videos coming your way, some fashion content. I have had lots of requests for that for a long time. I've also um, been asking, you guys have been asking for some like what for dinner, what's for dinner videos to come back or recipe videos. I got so burnt out on what's for dinner videos. There was so much pressure. I totally took the joy out of cooking for me. Um, and when things weren't working out, I would just like cry. I mean, it was a rough one. I do not know how food um, like channels and other, I mean, I have friends in this space who are incredible and they post constantly. I don't know how they come up with so many new recipes and just don't get burnt out, man. Like it is exhausting. But I do want to share just some, maybe like a collection of different things we've been eating. I don't know how common they'll be back into like what's for dinners, you know, all the time, but just at least to show you kind of like new recipes we've tried out and really, really loved and enjoyed. Um, so let me know if you're interested in that or like what we eat in a day or a week or I don't know. Let me know what type of food content you want to see because I've just had a lot of you guys ask for more recipe videos or like what's for dinner. So, and then I guess that's it. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you, for those of you who celebrate Easter, have a wonderful um, and beautiful Easter. I hope that it's really relaxing and filled with a lot of joy, and you're able, 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 you're able to celebrate with others and uh, your loved ones, and just hug on everyone and have a delicious, yummy Easter meal, whatever that may be. For those of you who don't celebrate Easter, I hope that you have a wonderful Sunday, and it's as beautiful as ever, and that you still get to do all of those things and still get to enjoy all of those things regardless if you celebrate or do not celebrate um and that is it i'll see you guys all very soon bye guys